Hey y'all, Dan from danwagner.co with a short walkthrough of the Combine Certain Sheets macro that's written about in the linked article in the description of this video. In a nutshell, we're trying to move data from the days of the month sheets here into the alpha sheet here, which has the same headers, it just lacks some of the formatting. And along the way, we want to make sure that we're skipping all of the sheets that are not days of the month, etc. And so, in order to accomplish this, we first assign the destination worksheet, which in this case is alpha. We figure out the last column on alpha because we know that the last column on the destination sheet is going to be the same as the last column on all of the individual day sheets, so column M, and we can verify that by jumping over to the first, checking out column M, indeed it is, awesome. So we then take a good hard look at the alpha sheet, which is where we're gonna do all of our combining. If some pre-existing data was here, you know, ABC, one, two, three, four, D, E, F, five, six, seven, eight, et cetera. If this information is existing already, what we want to do is clear it. Each time we run the macro, we want to start from a clean slate. And so the way we do that is by first identifying the last occupied row on this sheet, and then making sure that if the last occupied row is greater than one, we call clear contents on anything below the header row. And that'll make sure that we have a nice, clean working space for the eventual combination and skipping of worksheets that happens later down in the macro. Next up, we want to assign the destination range, which should be the first cell underneath column A that is open, right? So we know that since we cleared the data, we can assign that really easily in row two, column one, which is column A. And then at this point, we're ready to go. So we start looping through the worksheets collection. And so each worksheet is gonna be stored in this worksheet variable. We store each name in this string name variable. And then we compare it against the worksheet names that we know we wanna skip, like first a ridge, busiest day, master, etc. Assuming we get through this if statement, we want to af uh, assign the last occupied row from the data sheet and then copy the data from that data sheet into alpha. So let's go ahead and test out this script a few times with stop. Well, we don't need to be sure about the copy. We know that that works. And so what we're going to do is take a look at the string name variable and make sure that it's one of the worksheets that we want to combine and not one of the worksheets that we want to skip. So I'm going to click play, hover over string name. So the first worksheet is first a ridge. We know we don't want to combine that one, right? It's the first one that we're checking against. So we're going to skip right to end if, and alpha will remain empty. Oops. There we go. Nice. The next sheet name is master. Again, we want to skip master, right? Because it's not one of the days of the month. Again, we'll skip through that. The next one is alpha. We know we want to skip alpha because that's our collection sheet. And so I'm going to skip through that one. And airink, we want to skip that. Airink arrival, we want to skip that. Sweet. Now we're on to first, which is one of the worksheets that we want to actually combine and store on alpha. So after we run the script, we get our data on the alpha sheet. We can see we've copied over 
not only the values but the formulas as well. And we're ready to move on to the next sheet, which is second. And we should see that data populate down at the bottom of the existing data. And we do. Awesome. And the rest of this is going to continue just like these first few cycles have. I'm going to play it all the way out. And finally, we get our sheets combined end of macro note. To make sure that everything worked out right, I'm going to count how many rows we pasted over. It looks like there are 186 of them. And since there are 31 days in this month, and there are six rows in each worksheet, I think. Yeah. So we'll do 31 times 6. That's 186 total, which means we should end up on row 187 which includes the header, so 186 plus 1 and 187. And so with that, it looks like we're all good. We have skipped the correct sheets and combined data from the days of the month sheets here. If you have any questions or concerns on this technique, please don't hesitate to reach out. There are about a million ways to get in touch. Feel free to leave a comment or send me an email at the email address included on the article, which again is linked below in the description. Thanks so much.